Hey guys, Shane Stars with DrawerMotorX.com. Today I'm going to review the Signage Mod 10.2 ROM for the new Nexus 7, the 2013 variant. Uh, this is a ROM that you guys have been requesting for me to install. As you guys can see, it is buttery smooth, just as smooth as Android 4.3 on the new Nexus 7. So of course, Signage Mod 10.2 is built with performance, stability, and battery life in mind, and it does include some custom features. So the biggest difference between 10.1 and 10.2 is the fact that it is built on Android 4.3. We'll go ahead and open up the About tablet to see what we're working with here. You guys can see that we're working with Android version 4.3 and CyanogenMod 10.2. And then, of course, the next big huge feature here is the Focal app. So this is CyanogenMod 10's version of the camera application. We'll go ahead and open it real quick. And the cool thing here is that your settings are on the sidebar, so they're hidden until you uh, swipe them out. Of course, you have all your normal settings here, photosphere, video, panorama, and photo. And then you have your shutter button here, and you can move it wherever you like. And then pictures, you can take them very quickly. So your, photo, your shutter button here, your focus button, and then your shutter button is here, and you guys can see just how quickly the camera works. So the Focal app is pretty basic, uh, but it adds tons of performance to the camera experience on the new Nexus 7 or any other device that runs CyanogenMod 10.2. So we'll go ahead and open up the settings again and take a look at some of the custom settings. To go into your home screen, this is the Trebuchet Launcher. Of course, you can customize the Trebuchet Launcher. One thing that I always like to change here is the transition effect. I always like to go with Cube Out or Cube In. You can change the dock and drawer sizes. If we go into the lock screen, there's all kinds of lock screen settings here. You can change the background. You can turn your battery status on or uh, on always on or only on when charging. Change your slider shortcuts to any application. Hit the save button. Now whenever you turn your device off and back on, you can now have that extra uh, functionality that you just selected. The clock widget can be changed here. This is the C lock widget. Of course, you can change your settings here. It shows up with Celsius and not Fahrenheit. Let's see. There, you can uncheck metric, and that should change your C lock. You can choose to enable music controls from the lock screen. You have your themes. Uh, any signage of my tent or AOKP style theme in the market. Uh, will work with the theme chooser. Then you have your interface customizations here. You can change your quick panel. So you can choose to make it auto close. You can choose your tiles and layout. So you can add as many tiles as you like. You can remove tiles as well by dropping them down to delete. You have different sound modes, screen timeout modes. You have your alarm clock, bug report, IME changer, USB tether, and Wi-Fi. You have some notification drawer settings. You can enable the power widgets if you prefer the power widgets over uh, the quick setting tiles. You have your expanded desktop. If you enable that, you can also use your Pi controls. See buttons and layout. This would be your soft buttons here. You can modify those. Quick launch shortcuts. You can add some of those there, same way you would with the uh, lock screen sliders. Pi controls, you can go ahead and turn those on if you like. Okay, so in order for the Pi controls to work, you'll need to uh, ex you'll need to enable expanded desktop, and then your Pi controls will work like so. Of course, you do have some Pi control settings. 
You can change the navigation key size. You can also change the responsiveness. When you're finished with your Pi controls, you can just re-enable or disable the expanded desktop. With Cyanogen Mod 10, you also get some custom applications like Apollo Music app, the File Manager, DSP Manager. You do get your Focal application. Of course, you get all your G you get all your Google applications, and you also get a very fast, responsive ROM. Uh, that will give you plenty of battery life. So we've just about covered all the custom functionality of this ROM. Uh, I will include a how to install guide in the link in the description. You want to be sure to check that out as well. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the new Nexus 7 and other devices. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.